golden rule number one, avoid the hype. Don't go with the latest trend. Instead, choose a classic timeless style. Now, if you couldn't tell, I'm not a sneakerhead and I've got nothing against trends and fashion, but I do think for the guy just starting off, the regular guy that wants to add sneakers to his wardrobe, he needs to go with the style that isn't going to go out of fashion within a few years. Instead of going for flashy colors and the latest cuts, go for a style that you know is going to work with your existing clothing. And that takes me to the next golden rule. Choose a color similar to the color of shoes you already have in your wardrobe. It seems obvious, but if most of your shoes are brown, the outfits that you put together with it are going to work with brown. So when you choose a pair of sneakers in a similar shade, they're going to naturally seamlessly work in your wardrobe. If all your shoes are black, then go with black sneakers. Maybe you want to change it up, go with a little bit of white there on the sole or go with a black sole. Point being is look at what's going to already work with the clothing you own. That way, when you buy something, you actually wear it and get your money's worth out of it. The next golden rule is to know your history and the different styles of sneakers out there. Sneakers have been in men's wardrobes for over 150 years. Initially known as plimsolls over in England, when they made it over to the United States, they took on the name sneakers because advertising agents, they said, hey, these shoes, they have that rubber sole. You could sneak up on somebody. Makes sense, right? Now, what whether you call them plimsolls, whether you call them sneakers, it doesn't matter because in the 20th century, they became popular because they were inexpensive to manufacture, popular with children and with sportsmen because of the properties of the rubber sole. It gave the wearer grip. Nowadays, sneakers come in a wide variety of styles, but for today's video, I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to break them into three families. We have basketball shoes, we have running shoes, and we have tennis shoes. Now, when you think of iconic basketball shoes, the one that pops up is the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star. This is the one that for decades set the trend of the basketball shoe. Eventually, it was supplanted and nowadays, the basketball shoe industry is a huge industry. But in general, what do we see? We see good grip on the soles and we see high tops the majority. The next family of sneakers, running shoes. Now, a lot of people think that swoosh company out of Oregon invented running shoes. Not true. J.W. Foster out of England in 1895 developed the first pair of running shoes that had spikes. Eventually, other companies in other countries started to develop shoes for their athletes. We saw Adidas in 1936 start to make shoes for the Germans. But it was in the 1970s when that fad jogging became a worldwide phenomenon. And all of a sudden, the demand for a jogging shoe, a running shoe for the average person, all of a sudden put running shoes on the map. And the third family we're going to talk about is the oldest design, the tennis shoe, the sailing shoe. This is a low top, usually made with a leather upper. This is a shoe that has that rubber sole, primarily a lot of traction on it for gripping, whether you're on a boat, whether you're on a tennis court. Now, really quick, gents, I want to thank today's sponsor, Thursday Boots, for making today's video possible. What? Thursday Boots make sneakers? Yeah, they make damn good ones. In fact, in classic styles that you can easily incorporate into your wardrobe. Seriously, gents, if you've watched my channel, you guys know I love Thursday Boots. Quality at an affordable price. I know the founders. I love what this company stands for. That being said, these guys did not stop at Boots. They realized, hey, you want great quality sneakers, casual shoes that you can wear on the the weekend, great looking shoes that will work with the clothing in your wardrobe and won't break the budget. Now, last year, Thursday launched their first sneaker collection. They were putting their toes in the water. They wanted to see how you guys would react, but they took the same craftsmanship, the quality they put into their boots and the affordable price right here into the sneakers. I had their first collection. I've got it right here. I've been wearing them. They're really nice, good quality, love the stitching, love the attention to detail, just like in their boots. They paid attention to the build, the quality, the materials. Now, with this new collection, they brought in the classic colors, classic styles to make it easy to match to be able to bring this stuff into your wardrobe. Oh, and did I mention free shipping, free returns, and let's talk about their insoles. This Faketa leather is incredibly comfortable. I was wearing these the other day, absolutely love. When I put these on, it was like butter. I mean, and it's a quality build. When I look at the stitching, I look at the leather on the, the type of leather they're using, everything about this screams quality. I mean, in person, these look so much better than even on the website. And they easily work with a lot of the outfits I already have in my wardrobe. I wore these the other day and I got a couple compliments. Yes, they were family friends, but compliments are compliments. Point being, guys, if you're looking to pick up your first pair of sneakers, your 10th pair of sneakers, go check out Thursday Boots. These are amazing deals and use that link down in the description to get the best deal on the web. Seriously, guys, a great company. I'm proud to support them and go look at all the options beautiful shoes at an affordable price. Again, gents, use that link down in the description to check out Thursday Boots Premier Low Top Sneaker Collection. This is a great collection. Love the styles, love the looks, and I know you will too. So guys, use that link. Go check them out. The next golden rule, canvas is cool, but leather is king. Now, nothing against canvas. It's lightweight. It's going to be more affordable. And when it comes to an athletic shoe, something you're going to be actually sweating in, wearing maybe on the basketball court to the gym, 
then yeah, canvas is fine. But for a day-to-day -day sneaker that's just going to be a little bit more put together, it's going to have just a little bit better of a look to it, I think that leather is worth spending a little bit more money on and getting something that works great, that looks good on you. And this is especially key if you're wearing sneakers every day, you're wearing them into the office, you want a go-to shoe, go for leather. The next golden rule, know when you want to wear sneakers, know when you want to wear dress shoes. Guys, you've got to understand dress codes. So sneakers, as much as I love leather sneakers, and they look good, I'm not going to wear these with a suit. If you decide to wear these with a suit, then you better either own the company or be paying for the event. You've got to understand that if you're going to wear this with something that's formal, it's really breaking a lot of rules. Now, you can own it and you can find a way to make it work, but for the vast majority of men, you've got to understand that there are certain shoes to wear with certain events and certain pieces of clothing. This right here, a pair of classic brogues. So, this is going to work great with odd trousers, a sports jacket. I could wear this with a casual suit. For, yeah, a more formal suit, I'd want to go with a more formal shoe. Point being is to know your shoes and when you should wear them. The next golden rule is don't be afraid to spend a little bit more to get exactly what you want. Buy quality. I can't stress this enough. So many people decide to go cheap. They think that they're saving money. They're not because eventually the shoes discolor. They start to crack if they're made with plastic or made with an inferior material. You want to make sure that you're buying one with great leather on the outsole. If you're going to go with canvas, make sure that whatever you buy, you buy quality. You cry once about the price and then you're happy because you got exactly what you want. Because if you don't buy quality, especially with shoes, they are going to break down very quickly. As a kid, I remember we used to buy these cheap plastic shoes over at Payless and within a month, they would have holes and cracks in them. So, when you go and you buy leather, which leather can take tens of thousands of basically folds like that before it even starts to show anywhere to. Now, you do need to maintain them and that is another golden rule I will hit on is take care of your footwear. So many people that go out there and they buy leather shoes and they don't clean them. They don't wash them. They don't actually use a conditioner on the leather to make sure that they stay supple. Leather is a skin, so it will need to be reconditioned. Not all the time. You can probably get away with using a leather moisturizer or conditioner on a pair of shoes like this. Uh, even if you live in the Arizona desert, I would say once a month if you wear them every single day. But you know, if you're you know getting an inclement weather, you do get them wet, then it is something because they're made from a leather material. You're going to want to let them dry naturally and then use a moisturizer. Make sure you go with one that doesn't have any color. That way, it doesn't color light colored shoes. But uh, yeah, take care of your footwear. Now, the next golden rule of wearing sneakers actually doesn't have to do with the sneakers, but the pants that you pair with them. You want to make sure that you go for the right size pants, especially how they fit in your leg and how they're going to fit overall with your body type. I like slim. I like tapered pants. When you're wearing sneakers, it just looks better. You don't want to go with something that's overly baggy, a large boot cut. It just proportionally doesn't seem to work for the sneakers and for the build and just the overall look is bad. And don't forget to hem your pants. You don't want the pants to be so long that the back of your pants is getting caught on that back part of your sneaker because over time it's going to tear up the pants and it just looks bad. It does, it looks sloppy, and you want to be able to show off these good looking sneakers. You want that look put together. So make sure proportionally you find the right pants, the right jeans, the right chinos that work with the sneakers and work with your body. Now, this next golden rule seems obvious, but guys, buy a pair of sneakers that fit your feet properly. So, different brands use different lasts. The last is the foot design that they use to build the sneaker around. You want to make sure when you're putting the sneakers on that they feel good. If something feels off, they feel too tight, they feel just too small in a certain area, do not buy them. Or if you're going to say, I'm going to try to make this work, wear them around your house, but wear them on carpet so that you can return them. Because if you out wear them around town and you tear up the bottom of them, then they're not they're going to be unreturnable. You want to make sure that you can test and you can usually feel this within just a few minutes of walking around your house. Yeah, I'm going to need to send these back. They're too tight in this one area. Guys, I will say looking on the inside of sneakers, if they're not using an inner lining, to me that's a sign of poor quality. When you've got a leather inner lining, what this is here for is to absorb a bit of sweat. That's going to make it much more comfortable whenever you're wearing the shoe over time. That leather is just going to absorb the sweat. It's not going to be go through the shoe or anything like that, but that is one of the things I look for. A little bit of cushioning as well around the edges and you want to make sure that they've got enough laces. Sometimes if they don't have enough of the eyelets and the laces don't go very much, it's not going to be allowed, it's not going to give you 
your room to tighten it in a way that's going to feel comfortable. Now, this next golden rule, total bonus, and you may disagree with me. And if you do, let me know down in the comments below. But I think you should start off with low tops. They're a lot easier for most men to bring into their wardrobes. And I actually feel that they look better with most outfits. High tops take a little bit more skill. I think, you know, if maybe if you've got already a couple pairs of sneakers, then for sure, bring them in. But agree, disagree, I'd love to hear from you guys down below. So, what video to watch next? How about the 10 golden rules to wearing Chelsea boots? I break it down. I explain how to do it right here. And it's, you know, it's not super complicated, but I do point out some things you want to avoid doing. So, it's a good video. Go check it out, guys. I'm going to hold it up here for a few more seconds. Yeah, it's a good one. Go check it out. All right, guys, take care.